Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is take a look at thread milling. So what we'll do is we'll thread mill this circle right here. So we're going to head over here to the main toolbar and select stock tool pass. From there we'll select threading. Now our cursor changes to a little square and it wants us to digitize a circle and arc or an arc to define the location of the thread mill. Once we have that, we'll right hand mouse click. This is where we can define a tool manually or select a tool from the library. Uh, if you want to grab a tool from the library, just left hand mouse click on the tool or left hand mouse click on tool changer. For this though, we'll just manually define a tool. I'll say this is in turret position number two. I'll give this a, an RPM of let's say 2000. We'll give it some coolant here. And for a feed rate, I'll put in 0.25. That looks good. So I have a thread mill selected already for tool type. The length is how far it sticks out of the holder. Now this uh, top tooth diameter, that's the diameter from tip to tip on the tooth. And I've got 20 millimeters for that. And then you also have the amount of teeth on your cutter as well. So as you type in different values, one CNC will update all that. I'm going to go with just a single tooth or single, uh, yeah, single tooth cutter for this. So let's go ahead and click next. Here's our rapid. I'm going to put this at 10 millimeters. Our plunge, I'm going to put at 3. Material top is Z0, and then our final Z depth. That's probably a little bit too deep for what we're trying to do here. See, that looks good. All right, so let's start over here. This is where you select whether it's an internal or external, internal or external thread. We're going to go with internal, right-handed or left-handed. I think I'm going to go with a left-handed tool here. And then um, you've got your different climb or conventional cut. I'm going to climb cut top to bottom. This shows me the diameter of the circle that I selected. That circle does not have to be the major or the minor, but it is here for a reference for us. Uh, if you want to, you can come over here and select your different thread forms. So because I'm using metric, these are the available ones and the other ones are grayed out. So if I select ISO, we could come over here and, for example, grab one of these. I might well, let's grab this one. This is going to be a fine thread. I'll say all that looks good. All right, so there's our pitch. The adjustment is if you want to make the thread a little bit looser. All right, so if you were to type in 0 0.025, that's going to make the thread just a little bit more loose. It's going to give it that much more give by that amount. I'm going to leave that set to zero. Then you've got your start angle. That works just like with most CAD systems where your start angle zeroes here at 3 o'clock, 90 degrees, 180, 270 in that. That's if you want to control that. I'm going to leave that alone for this one. All right, so we have our, our major diameter and our minor diameter. Let's take a look at this. We grabbed that for the circle there. There's our, our major at 40. I'm going to say all this looks good. And there's our spring cuts. If you don't want spring cuts, you can set that to none. Or you can give it a spring cut amount, and then you set your depth there. I'm going to put that to none. Um, I'm not going to use any uh, compensation here, so I'm just going to use this at automatic default. So we'll click Next. This is how we can approach and exit. I'm just going to use the default auto arc in and auto arc out. And there you go. There's the thread milling. If we want to simulate this, why don't we just right hand mouse click on that operation. We'll select simulate. I'm just going to digitize both of these boundaries here. That looks good. Let's zoom in on this just a little bit. Pull this down, zoom in, and we'll speed up. That looks good. And so here's our, our tool uh, creating the, the thread on the inside there. All right, great. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.